Good morning, it's me, Kathy. Um, today, I used my grill, which I don't do very often, because like I said, it's too hot to go outside and grill, but recently I found some swordfish that was on sale and it was really good looking, and it's, it was wild caught, and I thought to myself, you know, I could get that and grill it, and what I did after I grilled it was I, uh, I lemoned up some pesto and used that for a sauce over the swordfish, and then, um, I had some Brussels sprouts, some beautiful little tiny baby Brussels sprouts that I found at the store. And I had some potatoes in my refrigerator that had to be used. So I did a roasted Brussels sprouts and potato mixture and served that with the swordfish and it came out delicious. And I put the recipe on the website and here's the video. See ya. We're gonna start with that nice fresh swordfish that I found at the store. And we're going to spray the fish with a non-stick cooking spray. And season it with salt and with pepper. Meanwhile, while we're doing this, our grill is heating up. We want it nice and hot. We want to make sure the seasoning goes on both sides. Now we're going to, you know, throw it on the grill for five to ten minutes at one angle. And then we're going to turn it. And cook it a little longer. And now we're going to spray the side that's up right now before we turn them over to make sure they don't stick. And we're going to turn them over. Make sure you have a spatula handy just in case the fish sticks a little bit. And like I say, lame grill marks from my little dinky grill. <laughs> I tried. And about 10 minutes later and when the skin easily peels away. Your swordfish is done. And you can remove it from the heat, set it on a plate, and we probably should have done the vegetables first. So we have our Brussels sprouts. As you can see, they're little tiny ones. They're adorable. And we're going to trim them and clean them. What you do is you cut off the base and pull away any loose leaves. and put them in a bowl. And now we have our russet potato that we're going to peel and cut into one inch pieces, about the same size as the Brussels sprouts. And we're gonna mix the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts together and season them with salt and pepper. And now we're going to pour over them some roasted garlic oil. I always have a stash of this in my fridge, as you may have noticed by now. And I picked some fresh rosemary from my garden. And we're going to chop that up. and put those on the potatoes and toss that mixture, the oil, the salt, the pepper, and the rosemary. And you get this stuff all over your hands, but you know, do it near the sink. <laughs> and there you go. And we're gonna bake those at 375 for about 20 minutes on a baking sheet lined with parchment until the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts are tender and slightly round. You stick a knife in them and when it comes out nice and easily, they're done. And they're lovely and tasty. And now we're going to make some pesto garlic in the food processor. Chop it, add some fresh basil leaves and some walnuts 
and some Parmesan cheese. And we're going to chop that up, scrape down the sides to make sure everything stays near the choppers. Now we're going to remove the feed tube from the top, and with the machine running, we're going to pour in olive oil through that feed tube. And we're going to process it until it is smooth and bright green. And now we're going to enhance it with a little bit of lemon zest. So we're going to take a lemon and zest some of it. You want about a tablespoon of the zest for this for this dish. And about three quarters of a cup of pesto. And now we're going to squeeze in the lemon juice. When you squeeze a lemon, you want to make sure that the, the cut side is facing up so the seeds don't pop into your food. And now we're going to plate the swordfish. And top it with the lemon pesto. And serve it with our roasted potatoes and Brussels sprouts. And there you have a nice summer supper and enjoy it.